there are a lot of new features in Polynome 2.2.9. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the new features in the menu and on this main metronome page. So the first thing to note is that in the menu, there's a new option for help. And this is a searchable help file, which is going to be updated as I add new topics online. And you can search for what it is that you're interested in. And if you can't find the answer, you can contact me through this page here. And I'll add new things as the questions come in. So on the metronome page, the first thing is that polynome now goes a little bit louder. And these faders are more natural in the way that they change the volume. So it used to be that you had to pull them a long way down before you noticed any difference. And now they are more like regular volume faders. I've also removed any latency when you press play. There used to be a little bit of latency when you hit the play button and that is gone now. I've added practice pad flam sounds. So I'm going to demonstrate that by putting a paradiddle in here. So I'm going to put in two beats of 16th notes and then we'll go in here and change sounds. And I'm going to tap and hold to change the sound. And I'm going to set the right hand to pad one, the left hand to pad two. So that's two different sounds on a practice pad. And then K I'm going to set to be pad one, right flam. And H I'm going to set to be pad two, L flam. So that's just so we have a right flam and a left flam and a right sound and a left sound. And they are different sounds so you can hear the difference. And then I'm going to put in a flam paradiddle. And then we hit done. And now you can hear it. So another thing I've done is added a make lefty option. So if you've installed some of the rudiments from the public library and you're a left-handed player, you can actually now tap and hold on the sounds and choose make lefty and that will change the stickings for you. And if you've got the same thing in both metronomes, you can tap on the preset name up here and choose make lefty and that will make metronome one and metronome two reverse the stickings. I've also added some bass and keys notes so you can add melodic sounds. So I'm going to tap and change the rhythm for metronome two and add a bar of eighth notes. And I've also added bar numbers so you can see the bar that you're on. And we're going to change the sounds here and tap and hold to change the sounds. I'm going to search for bass and I'm going to put in some bass notes. Okay, so then I'm going to program in the Billie Jean bass line. And hit done. There are some new options if you tap and hold on the sound. So I'm going to hit play, tap and hold. You can transpose. Gone around the octave there. Get it up there. And you can also swap bass and keys to make this into a keys part. And then you've got the shuffle and displace options as before. But those bass and keys allow you to create simple vamps to play along to. And I'll be adding more of those to the public library. There are also some stab sounds in here. So if you change sounds and you search for stabs, so you can use those as things to play along to for catching hits. I've added some voice cues. So if you tap and hold again to change the sounds and search for cues, you have rehearsal markings for A, B, C, D a little munchkin voice giving you letters of the alphabet, which can be useful for rehearsal markings in uh, snare drum pieces. 
and also song sections. So for breakdown, bridge, chorus, head, intro, etc., which you can use to help cue you for clicks in songs. Another new thing, if you have a rhythm in here that starts and ends with rests, so let's say we have um, a bar of rest and then a random rhythm for a bar and then another bar of rest, you can tap to shuffle this rhythm. So if you tap and hold on the rhythm, you can shuffle the rhythm and Polynom will ignore the rests at the beginning and the end. So you can just shuffle what is in the middle of the rhythm there. And finally, if you tap the preset name at the top, there's a new option for practice log, which will bring up the practice log and show you only events logged for this currently loaded preset. And the BPM range and dates are automatically set to the events that are logged for this particular preset. And you can see whether you've done more practice or less practice today than yesterday, this week than last week, this month than last month, etc. Um, so for this preset, we've only got the three events that I've just logged, but you can always tap on the filter and change that to view everything or your daily log notes or the currently loaded playlist or a certain tag. So that's the new features on the metronome page in Polynome 2.2.9. Check out the other videos to find out what's new in playlists and the practice log.